Hey everybody, it's Matt Shoot Upright Health here with Josh Hash. What's up guys? And today we are talking about why do I get sore when I lift stuff up? Uh, so this came up actually, uh, not for me, but it came up for a client um, and, and she she's recently started training. She's had problems with back pain and stuff in the past. And, um, and she was saying, you know, she was building a bed, she was building some furniture for her son and um, the next day she's just like crazy, crazy, crazy sore. And she was just like, why, why does this happen? Why do I get sore when I'm doing all this stuff, lifting things up, moving boxes and all that stuff? Are you saying this was a client, but it's really for yourself? I'm, it's, it's for, for a client. It's right? for a friend. <laughs> it's for a client of a friend who trains a client and it's not me. It's totally not me. Right. All right. Anyway, let's get back to the question. Um, so, what do you think, Josh? Uh, yeah, I think uh, if you're getting sore when you're lifting stuff around the house or whatever she was actually doing, it's probably because uh, you just haven't built up tolerance enough to handle, uh, you know, the the things that she's demanding of her body. So the body gets sore from doing that. Yeah, so uh, we were talking about this earlier as, as basically, um, you know, the body not being able to handle the workload. And so there's two ways to look at this. Um, it's all one way, but there's like two subsets of workload. So um, when you're thinking about what your body is capable of doing, um, your strength, um, your strength levels relative to your daily life is what we're really concerned about. So. Let's say, for example, if um, you know, I, I can maximally push like a, maybe a 50 pound dumbbell or 60 pound dumbbell over my head, right? So lifting up like this, if my maximum is like 60 pounds, then a dumbbell like this that's 40 pounds isn't super close to my max, but it's close enough to my max where if I do it enough times, probably like 20 times in one day, you say 20, 25 times. Mm -hmm. If I do this a bunch of times, I'm probably going to develop a little bit of soreness right. the next day. Right, right. It's going to fatigue you a, a lot more. Yeah, a lot more than, say, this 10-pound dumbbell. Right? right. So I can probably do this one 25 times, and I'm not going to notice anything. Right. So it's, it's so far below my actual maximum level of strength and it doesn't matter, and it's just not going to get me tired. Yeah, you haven't really hit that threshold that it would take to, to get you sore or yeah. get you fatigued. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so what I was telling uh, this client was, you know, basically you want to try to uh, increase your maximum level of strength. So you can do that by trying to lift heavier and heavier things, or what's, what's our other option? Yeah, so you can either increase your, your maximal output, so... You increase that max number that you can lift or uh, you know you don't have to go all the way up to a max but you can just lift a, a sub maximal weight m like more times right so uh, if you can lift 100 pounds for five reps then we're going to try to lift 100 pounds for six reps and then seven and all the way up to 10 right so so like in the example with these dumbbells right the the two approaches are well if i can do 60 now then how about if I try to do 65, right? And just keep pushing the maximum number. But at some point that can be a little bit dangerous and right. my control may fail depending on the exercise. You may yeah. not have access to higher dumbbells. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I might not have heavier dumbbells. So anything like that, then if you can't make a change on the maximum for any reason, you can always, as Josh was saying, adjust the number of times. Right. 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 So, then I could do, instead of doing the 40 pound dumbbell 25 times, maybe I could do it 30 times. And my, my capacity for work, the ability to handle that workload goes up and I'm less likely to get tired. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then you said you were hearing that from clients about gardening or something? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the reverse goes as well, right? Um, clients who, get, who are consistently getting stronger in a lift like the deadlift, um, come back and report that you know gardening is no problem now. Moving boxes around the house is just nothing because they can come in here and lift 150 pounds or whatever it is, right? 
Yeah. Um, so that's, it's, yeah, it's really important to, uh, to maintaining like a good level of a good quality of life. Yeah. I mean, if you can lift 150 pounds, then a 20 bag, 20 pound bag of fertilizer is not nearly as taxing. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You're not going to encounter much in life. That's going to like really, um, fatigue you or you, that, that you're not going to be able to do. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. So guys, hopefully uh, that answers your question uh, and it gives you some ideas about how to structure your own physical fitness and training life. Um, if you have more questions, be sure to uh, leave them in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe and remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and comment and be sure to subscribe to Upright Health for more great content in the future.